Hey guys, what's going on? Buzzer here, and we're just doing some of, uh, we're going back to a series that I called, uh, Building Historic Planes, and now it's going to be called Building Model Planes, because the whole historic-y, stuffy stuff, um, I didn't really like in the end, um, well, I liked it, but there's only so much I can do, and there's so much that can be done. So it is now up to it is now modeling planes, um, which will be the Concorde today. Um, I won't, it won't be a Pacific thing because I can't get the wings, but it'll be as close as I can get it. So uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Um, yeah, well, I hope it goes well. If it doesn't go well, well, yeah. So, if you're watching and you know from a previous episode, this was actually called Building Historic Planes. I'm going to change it to Building uh, Model Planes now, as it just seems more... Uh, how would you say... It seems better. I'm, I'm going to say it seems better. Um, that contains a lot of fuel, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, because that's fuselage. Oops. Uh, what we do need is some fuel, which can go there. And do I need more fuel? Uh, don't really think so. Actually, that's. Yeah, we'll chuck an old fuel tank on as well. Fuel is always good to have. Um, I don't know if I want. What? Concord one is like. Um, we'll go with the raised tail section. Raised. Um, Looks more realistic to me. So there's our hull of our aircraft with our cables and stuff, and we've got crew section as well. So it, that holds up to six people or well, six cables at any one point. Ooh, that's interesting. Now for the wings. Um, the wings are difficult. In this particular one, I don't want that one. Um, I think I wanted these ones, didn't I? I believe I wanted these ones, and... The reason for that is that they looked... Like the best fit. Um, if you know what I'm saying. Um, because I, I can't exactly get the curved wing style of the... Uh, original. Um, if I could, that'd be awesome, but, you know can't really, so, yeah, um, if I could, that'd be cool, but I really can't, so, we are doing a bit of a, how would you say, let's, what are we doing, we are doing a bit of improvisation, that is what I call this, improvisation, improvisation, yeah, I don't know, I'm half retarded sometimes, Actually, is that? What's that way? Oh, perfect. And... Yeah, that should do it. Alright, so that's that, and then we'll, of course we'll have the engines and all that underneath. Um, so then I need to add... Yeah, that looks... Actually, that's perfect, pretty much. That is... Actually, we've almost got the sort of, uh, curved wing style that I wanted, actually. And it looks really nice. And, of course, my uh, favourite mod, um, procedural, or procedural, or pros I can't remember how it's pronounced exactly. But, well, however it's pronounced, we have those wings back, and they're good fun. Nope, I wanted to do that, and then I wanted to... There we go. Come out a little bit more. Do that. And I believe it's T. And then G, G, G. That looks nice, actually. Looks better than I thought it would. Um, that actually looks gen genuinely nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And of course, now we need the delta wing on top of the plane. Which do we just basic delta wing, or do we go all out and go one from the B9 aerospace pack? 
Garang Tide being able to use doesn't. Um, I think this suits a bit more. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a pretty accurate uh, the Delta Wing. Oh, yeah, Delta Wings? No, that Delta Wings not meant to go there. I'm stupid. That's a wing tip. Actually, no, adult wing tip. I I don't know. I I'm not even gonna. <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes I just don't know what I'm thinking about, and I just sort of alt tabbed. So you would have got a black screen there by accident. Sorry, guys. Um, chuck a procedural wing on top. Cause that sounds like the best idea. We can always raise it up. Oh, that's a bit big. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll shorten that a little. Nope, don't want to do that in some way. Uh huh. And G should be allowed me to move it. That looks a bit big, actually. Um, maybe that will be. Eh, that looks makes it look a little better. Doesn't let me just. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, that does look better. Um, the screen would just froze for you guys, so let's try to do something. Um, I was checking. Actually, where was that wing? So that's actually. Ah. Actually, that's a good fit. I like that. It looks nice. Um, it's got a bit of a curve. Not the best of curves, but it's a curve nonetheless. Um, actually, let's bring these wings out a little bit more. Beautiful. That looks absolutely beautiful. Except for the wings, they look a bit off, don't they? They look a little bit off, but, you know... Looks fine. That's what they say, and then look what happened. Concord crashed all over the ground and did stuff. Oh, that was a bad day for Concord. Oh. Actually, a big wheel would actually... And the wheel was about here... Actually, it probably needs to be a bit more forward. I'm going to put it there. And then we have the two other wheels, which are back here. So I'm going to use actually use the same two for this. So, nope. X. I wish things would work as well as I wanted them to. Oh, we're never going to get that, are we? Nope. Let me just quickly do this. Okay. I see where they are now. Just checking the image to see exactly where the wheels were. And they were sort of right here. Near the engines. So. That may be a bit too far back. I mean, forward. Probably, probably good about there? Yeah, that looks about right. And then, of course, we are going to need the engine's landing leg. The I believe that is for s other stuff. I don't need that. Um, surface mounted air brake. Oh, they look cool, don't they? Uh, propulsion, here we go. Uh, we're going to use the VTOL engines, since they look like the engines, um, more or less, and they actually look really nice, um, for that fact. That matter of fact, they look really nice. Um, so, one set, uh, probably, we want it more. Yeah, that looks good, and just chuck another set over right next to it. Um, 
as soon as I get the rotation, right? Uh, I believe if I go like that. Okay, nope. Go like this. I don't know sometimes. Uh, okay, here we go. Can we please rotate in the right direction? I hate this. Ah, here we go. Now it doesn't want to do it. It's doing it. What the hell? Why do you want to go up here? We'll go down a little bit. Under wing pledge. Please. Can we duck down a little? I can't. Oh, okay. Um, actually. Doesn't want to go under this time, but this one does. Why are we having these uh, this argument? If I could, knew, if I probably knew how to rotate shit properly, at uh, that goes that way. Okay, I think that's the best we're going to pull. But I, I want it to be under. Now let, let me let me work this out. I'm gonna work this out. Um. There's one engine sorted, and uh, another engine can probably. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go off the wing arm um, the things on top. Cause this does not want to do what I want it to do, so yeah. Yeah. Something close looking is better than no looking, so if I get my rotation right. Um There's our two jet engine thingies. Um, and I believe the intakes are here for them. Which technically won't go on unless we press Alt, is it F1? Nope. Alt F12, there we go. Um, pause, infinite, allow part clipping, that's what I want. F12. Thank you. And put that there. Put that there. I don't think these are going to actually get any air, so... We might have to do a bit of a work around and add some uh, air intakes along the way. Oh, that's a bit big. A bit big. Actually, no, that looks horribly and stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I believe that will do it. Um, yeah, I believe that should do it. Um, has some lift. Uh, probably needs a bit of a stabilizer on the back. So we'll add that on now. Uh, which one shall we use? It'll be to be definitely not that one. Not that one. I think the basic one will be to do. There we go. Now we have a fully functional. Concord. Uh, KSP Concord Mark 1. There we go. The Mark 1 Kerbal Space Program Concord. Let's uh, take the synchro test run and hopefully it, uh, I think it's going to work out alright. Hopefully. It's always and always a uh, hopefully. Okay, uh, time warp, time one. Alright, here we go. Here we go for the Concorde Flight of the Century. Power up those engines. The wheels don't quite work. Oh, okay, that, whoops, that looks a little shifty. Go, Concorde! Take off! Well,
why are gears not coming up? Gears don't want to go up, so I think we have to... Okay, they don't go up, I guess. It ha it's a, uh, okay, um... I don't know. Um, it flies. Gears don't want to work. Um, let's do some uh, test design. It doesn't have a lot of flaps, and I probably should fix that so it looks a little... I won't wait if the wheels don't work, so I'm going to have to swap those out for normal landing gear legs, I guess. Which we'll do now for to try a... Oh, cancel. Revert flight back to space plane. Hangar! Um, I don't want weird shit happening, so we're going to swap out the legs. So, we don't want you legs. Um, We want better legs. Legs that work, maybe. You know. Ooh, helicopter legs. A swivel leg, whatever that is. Uh, Omni red light. Omni light. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sort of mucking around now. Alright, let's get to adding the wheels on. And get rid of you two, because you're not needed. And that looks about right. Um, if we... Oh, yeah, we got to this up. Where did that... Oh, there it is. Uh, well, these still need a bit more lift, so we'll chuck these on the end here. No. And map ah, save launch. Let's try this thing now. It might work a bit better. And it, uh, it's sort of to me. It sort of gives a bit of recognition to the Concorde. I don't know about you guys. I, I sort of like it though. As we slowly load, I don't know. I, I like it. It looks. It sort of looks like a Concorde. To me, it sort of looks like a Concorde. To you guys, I am unsure what it looks like. But it takes off beautifully. So that's a good thing. I sort of want an angle a little. But that takes off quite beautifully. Um, the intakes work even though they're sort of in the... in the thing. Um, <laughs> we could sort of make it go crazy in VTOL mode, but, you know, we don't want to do that. We want to... Do some it looks it actually looks quite nice for my design. I think that's a really well done design by me. Um it has the it sort of has the curved wing. It's it should be more like that instead of how wide it is, but yeah, it looks alright. I like it. I like the look of it. Um and we're climbing pretty fast too. Um, I guess we'll get up to about we'll get up to about a really high speed. We'll do some more testing. I'm gonna sort of time warp it. Can we get away with time warp times three? Oh, no. We almost can, but I don't, I don't think we would. Uh, um. Uh, come on. Let's oh shit. Up oh, shit. Yep, we're gone. We've lost it. Cut engines. What do we get up to? We got up to twenty-eight thousand. We were just pointing up for a good couple of meters. So that's good. I think we've done a very successful mission. Uh, Jebediah is happy in his new rotating and. Sp being constantly plain. Uh, we'll get you back under control eventually, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jebediah. But until then, guys, if you would like to see more of um, cr building model planes in Kill Space Program, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys next time.